My name is Christine Jones. I am a graduate student in the Professional and Technical Writing Program at UA Little Rock. I knew I was interested in pursuing a graduate degree when I graduated from UA Little Rock in 2018 with my bachelor's. I just didn't know which path I would choose. I finally decided to come back to school in August of 2020 when I was scrolling on my Facebook page and an advertisement for the rhetoric and writing department here at UA Little Rock. Uh, popped up on my newsfeed. Uh, when I clicked on it and I started reading through the programs and I realized that professional and technical writing sounded exactly like what I already knew how to do and that this program would enhance my skills. When I first started graduate school, I didn't have any wild expectations at all. I just thought it would be like my undergrad years would were um just go to class do your work go home kind of thing but what was interesting to me when i came back was how invested the professors are how involved they are how helpful they are um they really want to see us succeed um, and when they think you've got talent they let you know and they help you mold it what surprised me the most when i first came back to school was how invested the professors were in our learning and our career beyond the classroom um, Ever since I began, they've been preparing me for this last and final semester that I'm in. And at this point in time, I feel like I'm ready to go out into the world and practice my craft. And I don't think that that would have been possible if the professors had not been so invested in helping me to learn and guide me. Um, I have to say that my favorite class was document design. Um, that was the class that let me practice not only my craft, but it also helped me to unleash a little bit of creativity. Um, it helped me to, uh, it, it helped me grow a lot. Um, even the assignments, I enjoyed doing the assignments because by doing the assignments, I was really learning. Um, and, and if it hadn't been for that class, I don't think that I would be so good at what I do now. Another class I really like has been creative nonfiction. I am currently taking that class this semester and it has already helped me unleash a little bit of my creative side and taught me a lot about voice and style, uh, rhythm, pace, things like that. Um, and I'm really grateful that I took that class this semester. My life as a graduate student here at UA Little Rock has been rather busy, but very fulfilling. I have held a graduate assistantship position since my first semester back. First at Ottenheimer Library is their social media manager and their outreach assistant. Um, the following semester, I moved to a communications assistant for the College of Humanities, Arts, Social Sciences, and Education Dean's Office. And then this semester, I moved to the William J. Clinton Library here in Little Rock as their social media manager. In addition uh, to my graduate assistantship hours, I am also the president of the League of United Latin American Citizens here on campus. I am the chair of the Racial Barrier Committee. I am also the president of the Graduate Student Association, and I'm also a senator on the SGA, uh, Student Government Association. Uh, 
in addition to all of that, I am student vice president of Phi Kappa Phi on campus, our honor society. And I also serve on the academic integrity grievance committee for uh, in my role as the GSA president. To say that this work and being so involved in the community here at UA Little Rock has affected my life would be an understatement. Um, I've learned so much. I've grown so much in the past two and a half years. And I don't think that that's an experience that I would have gotten at any other university. The way I've balanced work and academic study and family um, has been um, just kind of the luck of the draw. Um, I prioritize everything. I schedule everything. I write everything down. If I don't write it down, it doesn't happen. So I make sure I walk around with a schedule book and I write every event that's coming up down in that book. And once um, I get home at the end of the week, I sit down and I look at what's coming up for the next week. And I prioritize my time and attention um, in that manner. Structuring my schedule as a graduate student has been rather easy here at UA Little Rock. Um, I've been able to choose the classes that I needed um, and work my graduate assistant schedule around those classes. And um, even as a graduate assistant here at UA Little Rock, it's been fairly easy to maneuver classes around my work time. Um, the staff and the faculty are really willing to um, help out when there are extenuating circumstances. So that really does help a lot um, when it comes to structuring your day and your schedule. Um, if you were to email your faculty and let them know, hey, I work 12 a.m. to 7 a.m every night so I, I and I sleep during class time they might work with you on that um, it just depends on the situation and your willingness to do the work and put the time in um, my classes have been a mix of online synchronous asynchronous and in person I prefer the in person approach but um, if that's not possible, I prefer the synchronous approach because I like to be able to ask questions. Um, however, the online courses are super easy to maneuver, um, especially if you keep in contact with your professor. Um, and the professors are always open to receiving an email question at any time. Um, well, business hours. Um, and they're, they're very responsive, uh, with everything. If you've never taken an online class before, prepare to be blown away. Uh, the instructors are always super responsive. Um, they're always willing to help out whenever you need it. Um, they are very forthcoming with your syllabus and your schedule and what's expected of you and you know from the first day what's going to be expected of you throughout the semester they are very detailed in their online lectures they uh, they provide as much as they possibly can to help you along the way um and of course like i said if you ever have questions they're so super responsive um on your first day in online class, you really, you just, there's a lot of reading. Um, you have to read the syllabus, you have to read the, the greeting. And then of course, if the syllabus came with a schedule, you wanna look that over, um, depending on how many classes you have that just, it's a lot of reading. Um, gen generally in the first week, there's a discussion post, but it's usually to introduce yourself. So it's relatively simple and to get you into the habit of going online and discussing things. Um, and then depending on your instructor, it you know, your class is pretty structured from then on. Um, 
you'll have a day each week that your work is due um, and you'll be able to schedule and structure your week around that time. My favorite part of graduate school so far has been just the work we've created. Um, in document design, we created a book cover uh, about a biography we would write on our life. Um, we've created, I've written an actual grant and submitted it to be considered. I have experience now writing a contract. I have experience writing proposals and it's, it's really the work that we do um, that I enjoy learning that, learning the techniques and theories. Another part of my favorite thing about graduate school is just how accessible everybody is. Everybody's willing to help out. If you reach out, they are pretty quick to answer back. Um, and, you know, as, as the leader of so many organizations on campus, I can say for a fact that every department in this school is willing to help out the students whenever they need it. I'd say the most challenging thing about graduate school for me has been juggling everything, uh, making sure that one organization has what it needs and my homework is done here and my kids have what they need there. Um, it's been a bit of a challenge, but it's been a challenge that I've faced head on and it's been something that's helped me to grow and it's taught me that i can handle much more than i ever realized um but that's probably been the toughest part of graduate school has been um balancing everything My advice to anybody pursuing your graduate degree at UA Little Rock would be to do your homework in the program, in the possibilities beyond school. Um, make sure that it's something that you're really passionate about. If I wasn't so passionate about professional technical writing, I don't think I would be thriving the way I am in graduate school. Um, but I would definitely do the research into the program. Make sure that you're passionate about it. You can go so far with any graduate program here at UA Little Rock, as long as it's something that you're passionate about. My plans after getting my graduate degree involve um, becoming a communications professional. Um, I spent almost two years in the Chase Dean's office as the communications assistant, and it embodies every aspect of professional and technical writing you can think of. And I like to have my hands in lots of projects at once. And I realized as the communications assistant that that's what my life would be. And I loved every second of it. So I want to be a communications professional in the future. I'm hoping for a tech company like Google or Amazon or Meta or Microsoft. Um, that would be the ultimate dream job for me. My graduate program has really been great in helping prepare me for my future plans um, on top of the wonderful classes uh, that I've attended here at UA Little Rock. I've also won several internships um, that have prepared me uh, for various kinds of writing, including winning the Douthat Scholar um, internship for KUAR Radio, uh, which is UA Little Rock's radio station. I became a reporter for a summer and learned a different style of writing. And then I also had a fellowship for a year with Just Communities of Arkansas, where I not only edited, wrote, and 
redesigned their old website. I also designed an entirely new website for them using plain language. And I feel that those experiences um, would not have come as easily at any other university. I'd say if you're thinking about applying for graduate school to take the leap, um, you never know until you ask and the answer might be yes. Um, especially if it's a project that you're passionate about, if you're passionate about learning, if you're passionate about a certain sub subject, topic, whatever, that UA Little Rock offers here, I say take the leap and, and apply because the faculty here is going to make sure that you do well.